Uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna try to make it short. Um, but basically, my Discord is ready, and I'm gonna have it linked in the description and also my YouTube bio. So make sure to check that out. Um, also, I will probably change the Discord a bit, but uh, yeah, for now it's gonna it's gonna be like this. Um, also, this is going to be kind of a new uh, a new series. Uh, well, not like really because I'm gonna still do the same games. Um, but it's gonna be in like a short paced format. Um, because I, like every two episodes, I'm gonna just like make one of those short paced, um, fast paced videos. Uh, so that everyone who is kind of a bit more lazy and just wants to make his stuff, uh, very fast. Um, you can just watch those videos, uh, instead of the long ones. Uh, so I'm gonna just show everything real quick. Um that you have to be uh, doing um, and yeah uh, I will just um, like write the code for everything and uh, yeah so so the first thing is actually in replicated storage so make sure you create a folder named auras and in this folder there is going to be one folder for each aura that you are going to create so I'm trying to uh, to make it short, to explain it shortly. Um, but basically, in this folder here, uh, which are the names of your aura, you will have parts that are invisible, very small, and also uncollidable and everything, um, and also unanchored. Um, just name them in which body part you want them to go. Make sure you enable R6 in the game settings for it to work. Um, Otherwise, you can just enable R15, and then just um, yeah, you have to, you have to change a bit from the animations, um, because those are R6 animations, uh, though that I use, but it should work uh just fine. Uh, so you basically name the part in which body part it it want uh it should go. So that that's it. Then in the remotes, you're gonna create two remote events: or equip and or unequip all. That's all you need. Then in the first module script in Replicated Storage, um, this is just a very simple module script. Basically, you write the name of the aura uh, that you also have in the auras folder, and then just uh, paste the animation ID. Uh, this aura should help. Yeah. Then in the sounds config, it's pretty much the same. Um, so basically, just write the name of the aura, add it to a table, and then you have sound ID, volume, and distance. Just set the sound ID to the sound ID. Uh, if you don't want to have a sound for this aura, just don't make anything, just leave it out. You see, I have test aura in here, because I want the animation for test aura. But I don't want the sound, so I left it out here. So distance is just how far, how many stats you can hear it. Uh, then, um, that was all for replicated storage. Then we go into starter GUI. There is basically just a GUI inside, like you can see here. You don't need this. Um, we will also change this in the next episode when we enable rolling. Um, but yeah, you basically have just a frame. Uh, I just have a frame and three buttons. Um, those are for equipping. Those look like this. Um, basically, you paste the name of the. If, for instance, if we want to equip test R, I'm just put, put test R in here. Uh, but yeah, that's everything you need for the. Also, let me zoom in a bit. Um, so yeah, that's everything you need for the equip, and that's what you need for the unequip. Pretty simple. Uh, let me show you server again. Oh no, no, yeah, that's fine. So here, uh, sounds config, uh, animation config, and yeah. Uh, so next script, next script. Uh, then we have the um, yeah, server script service, and now we have a normal server script. And it's, it's a bit longer, so make sure you get everything here. So it's just the services, then requiring some modules, uh, then setting some um, yeah some values. Then this is for the uh, connection when the player joins the game. So make sure you write everything I write. Um, so then we have two events here. Pretty easy, it's not that long. Uh, just stop the uh, video and copy what I write and yeah uh, done for the last script actually already uh, just go into the uh, so script service and add a module script again 
So, uh, this is basically it. Uh, so first you have a few variables here. Then you have a check for has animation and has sound. Then you have the animation function, which is a bit longer. I have my Amazon out one time. Here it comes. So yeah, this is the animation function. Make sure to copy that. Um, then the sound function, it's a bit smaller. And then actually the equip aura function, which is a bit bigger. So I'm gonna just show it for a second. Um, yeah. Just make sure to copy. Um, if there is an error in the console, I will give you an, uh, a troubleshooting, uh, like in a second. Um, but if you follow my troubleshooting, um, it's just an error because you just misspelled something, probably. If not, just let me know in the comments and I will answer you on what the problem is. So yeah, this is the unequip function. Just make sure to copy this. Um, yeah. That's basically everything. So for the troubleshooting, I will show you. Just give me a second. So, uh, in the game settings, first of all, make sure you saved the game. This will pop up instantly. Also, let me, well, let me quickly close another. Just a second. Okay. So, uh, make sure you save the game. Then make sure um, in security, those two are enabled. HTTP and API. So then in avatar, if you want to use R6, uh, you you have to, so you have two options, R6, which is easier to use because you have less body parts to animate. So that means you have, you, it's easier for you to make animations and auras. On the other side, R15 looks just smoother. Okay, so if you want to use R6, uh, you have to make sure that the body parts are in R6 because for instance in R6 there's a, there's just torso and in R15 there's upper and lower torso so just make sure the names are correct um, so also if you want to use R6 uh, you have to make sure that the animation uh, ID you paste in here is in R6 uh, same comes for F R15 just make sure the part names are uh, correct and that the animation matches uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the uh, Discord in the uh, description. Uh, I'm gonna probably make the next part on Monday. Um, and then the the fourth part, I'm gonna make that on probably Wednesday or Thursday, I don't know. Um, and then the next fast-paced part will come out next week, Thursday too. Yeah. So that's basically everything. I'm gonna quickly show you in game how it looks. Um so yeah. You can equip the aura, unequip it, and also equip this aura. Uh if you want a deeper explanation of the code I write or wrote, uh please check out the longer video because I can't explain it very well in just eight minutes. So uh yeah. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments and I'm going to answer them as fast as possible. Uh, or just um, ask me in the Discord. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for today's short paced video. I hope you like this video. Also, let me know if you like the um, long videos or the short videos more. So I'm um, going to just know what you guys like more. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I will see you next time, though.